Hello my lovely people and welcome back to my channel and I'm yes again I'm wearing the same clothes because we are pushing videos up today so <coughs> coughing as usual never gonna change we are now doing my tip tracker and sinking fund say hell yes cannot believe that I'm able to do this video with you guys. I am so happy that I'm able to do a tip tracker video. So let me move my pages to the correct ones. Now, if you haven't seen this already, I will put a link in the description box below of me doing this setup. So I have my setup here ready to go. And this is going to be my trial and error video for or my trial and error setup. I am probably not going to use some of this, but bear with me. This is the first time I'm actually been able to do a single run set setup and tracker. I'm so so happy that I can do this. If you if you are new here, my name is Kylie. I do budgeting videos and a bit of food hauls and all of the above. So. Please bear with me, I am a bit of a novice at this and I am still learning, so please bear with me and if you are new or you are returning, welcome, welcome to the madness of my life. So we're going to get straight into it and we're going to turn this over. So we are going to get straight into my tip tracker, right, so to do my tip tracker, I have to get my cash out of my handy dandy wallet. So, I cannot remember how much I made on each day because this is the first time I'm recording this and the first time I'm doing it. So, please bear with me. So, we're going to get all of my tippage out here. We're going to literally tip the whole lot out and then we are going to count it and then we are I'm going to put that back in there that's my entertainment section and then we are going to divvy it out on certain days so i do know for definite that i made 15 pounds on saturday so let's just move all this over a second and i cannot for the life of me know where i put my spare phone, two seconds, I will grab it. Oh, you bastard. So I have my spare phone. Right, so we're gonna do a running total. So. I know that I have 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we have 40 smackaroonies there. Then we have 42, 44, 46. 46, 47, 47, so let's put 47 so I don't forget what it is, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, now, that is not the correct amount because I have just spent £11 for my kids to go to a pantomime today. So I need to add 11 to that. And then I spent £3. Oh, no. I spent £3 for my budget um, over here. I have my Paycheck One budget and I don't know if you can see that page, but in the corner up there, I will try and bend the page over. I don't want to move everything, because I don't think you can see. So up here, I spent 13 pounds on eating out, but I was only 10. So I put the money back in my account. 
that's where I was going wrong and I still need to sort out my budget because it's completely wrong from what I recorded so bear with me I will get to that then we spent another six pounds yesterday in Poundland so I made a massive 56 uh, 67 pounds and 58 pence my lovelies no I didn't I made more than that I made more than that plus 11 pound 40 I made never 11 pound 40 so I'm sorry we made 78 pounds and 98 pence this week for our paycheck so we have to get my pen ready now I need to quickly write down those extra bills because I completely forgot them so we have 11 for kids I'm just right next to me and then we have 11 40 which was me at the shop yesterday because I bought some stuff for work for us to like because I went to work last night so I just bought some snacks and some drinks for the guys at work so right so we are gonna do so we're gonna put Monday which was the second oh my pen has got some black stuff on it there we go so we're gonna do the second of the 12th and my phone is gonna keep going off and doing my head in and then I didn't work Tuesday or Wednesday so I had the third and the fourth off so I worked the fifth and I worked the 6th and then I worked the 7th and I'm forgetting my words and then I worked the 8th and obviously tonight's, today's the 10th so we, I definitely know that I made on Saturday because I took my friend home, one of my colleagues home on Friday but he couldn't pay me till Saturday because we didn't get our tips so I know on Saturday I made a nice 20 pounds so let's take away 20 from that so we have 58.98 left now yesterday uh, not yesterday Sunday I know I made eight pounds 50 I'm gonna put eight pounds 50 so take away eight pounds fifty. And that leaves me still with fifty quid. I do not know how I made it. I think I might have had some money from like the first, which ended up being on the Sunday as well. So I'm just gonna have to divvy it up and try and get there. So let's put I know I did quite a lot on Sun on Yeah, oh bugger me. I actually made some more money because the days I didn't work, I actually picked the boys up from work and they gave me like some money as well. So that is why I've got so much money. So let's just put 1148 for here. 1148. That gives me 39. Let's divide that by two. No. That gives me that and then we'll divide that by two. So let's just put on here, I made 1950 here and then 1950 underneath but I didn't make obviously that I had made it during the days so I wasn't at work in future this will be more organized and we will get through it so so let's put the running total so 1950 plus 1950 so running total here is 1950 and then we have 39 and then we have 11.48 so that made 50.48 and then we had 70.48 so plus 20 plus 8.50 is my total of 78.98 right so I wanted to put sinking funds next but I can't do that because of the fact that I've already spent some money. So we need to now turn my page over and we need to do my transaction log. So most of my expenditure has been yesterday and Sunday and all of the above. So 
I know on Friday of last week, I went and put the three pound back into my account to pay for, I had the seven pence change, but I put the three pound back into my bank to pay for the extra overage, overage on the end, uh, eating out category. I'm forgetting my words. I went and bought like a sandwich meal deal from Sainsbury's on the Tuesday because I um, went and got my hair dyed and I forgot that I didn't have no food and it was like lunchtime. So I went and got a meal deal but completely forgot that I didn't have no money on me for that. I literally took the money for my hair dye and that was it because I didn't want to take my whole purse with me in town. So Friday was second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So Friday, we're going to put the 6th, I don't really know, I need to write the 12th, but uh, fund, I'm going to change the name from fund to um, description or something like that. So we are going to put for bank and then we're going to put eat out my phone's gone off again so we're gonna put three pounds so remaining we have let's take away three so we have 75 98 remaining and then we spent yesterday so yesterday was obviously if things are spent normally on net, uh, like a new week I will put it into next week's like the end of this week's transaction log but because this is the first time I'm doing it and I'm still spending my old tips I will put it in for this week so it's not a problem so oh no uh yeah yeah so all of this happened yesterday so the 9th so the 9th well apart from one to the 9th we went to Poundland and I just bought a few things that I needed to get. So I spent that money and that was six. So take away six. Leaves me with 69.98. And then on, uh, we also spent on yesterday, we went to shop and then it's my calls. I always spell it wrong. We spent 11.40. So take away 11.40. Gives me a nice total of 58.58. And then we spent um, today, which is the 10th. Um, it's the kids so this is a technically will be a fund so this is kids um school trips so let's put school i ain't got to put oh can put the t uh -huh in there right trips so we spent today 11 pounds for them so take away 11 equals 47.58 47 47.58 47 so let me just turn you back around. So we have definitely 47.58 right here next to me. I'm just gonna do my pen up so <coughs> it doesn't go bad. So then we have to divvy out the money. And I don't know where I'm gonna put it all, but I know that I do not want to have it on me. So I'm gonna probably do it in some cash wallets. I'm gonna use my old cash wallets. I've got them in the kitchen, but my legs are dead because I'm laying on the floor, so I really cannot get up and go get them, but I will put them in there. So I want to do some sinking funds. I still haven't thought of what sinking funds I want to do. So I'm gonna be doing it on the fly with you guys, so bear with me. So these might change as of next week, but for this moment, we are doing it as this. So. I would like to put a sinking fund of, hmm, 
bear with me while I, I procrastinate and try and think of a sinking fund that I really, really want to use. Right, guys, so I think I might have a few sinking funds that I really want to use. So I want to do a. <clears throat> um, I forgot what it is now. I want to do a saving funds for a camera for myself. So I'm going to put an electronic E. Electronic. Sorry, I cannot spell the word electronic very well. I'm not very good at English very well, even though that's my first language. So, electronic account, and I am going to put a nice um, 20 in that for the electronic account. So, that is my 20 for that. Then we have, let me put my phone back on so I can see how much we have left. So then we're going to take away 20. So we have 27.58 left. And I know I wanted to put money towards my debt, but I really want to have some funds available. So I've got some money there as a buffer just in case. So I am going, because my some of my bills are going to be more expensive this month than I anticipated so I haven't got the money for those but I'm going to put that in with my next uh, week's check-in because I'm not taking all my money out of my bank straight away for my cash envelopes I still have money from my cash envelopes for like week three and week four that I can use to pay for the extra overage on my bills for this month and then just put the money back so uh next week i will put a sinking fund i'm gonna put on here but i'll put zero but i'm gonna put a sinking fund in place for my bills and a buffer it's gonna be a buffer so i'm probably gonna put a 10 pound or 20 pound buffer in for that but bear with me so let's get this sorted we have electronic done then we have 2758 left and i would like to put i don't know what funds i want because my electronic one is going to be i really want a car fund i don't want to put a measly amount in for my car fund but it's better than nothing so let's do car fund let's do car so we are going to put car and we are going to put in 10. So we're going to put 10 in for that car fund. So there's five, and then there's 10. So take away 10, gives me 17.58. Now, I know that my kids are going to need new clothes very soon they have my we've gone through all their wardrobes and we've gone through all the toy boxes to get rid of all of the old stuff ready for like the new year and ready for christmas so we haven't got so many toys about i've got rid of like two bin bags of toys the other day because they don't use them anymore they're so babyish so i am gonna put a kids fund but it's gonna be for clothes not for toys obviously because that's what Christmas is for. Um, and then we're gonna put clothes. So kids, clothes. And I'm gonna put that 10 pound in there for that. So obviously it's all there, but I'm gonna put the 10 pound in for that. And then I am gonna put the, oh, come on. So remaining. So remaining we have seven pound 58, and I'm gonna put the full amount Full amount. I think I'm gonna put it into savings. I think I'm gonna put it into general savings, guys, because then I've got a buffer just in case one of my bills goes out. It's even more than it should be, so I can take it away from savings. I love the word savings. I'm gonna put it in capitals because I never have savings. So we have that. So that is done. Obviously, I would have had a lot more 
if I'd have had my total, if I'd have had my total 78, 98, I would have put, <coughs> um, I would have put 50 in my car fund straight away. 50 in my car fund, no matter what. So I've got a car there, so, because I need a car desperately. We are on the last legs. My car broke down the other day. I tried to ring AA and it kept hanging up on me. So I had to get one of the guys from work to um, jump start me with some jump cables. So that was a big issue. I apparently drained my battery, even though my battery's slim warranty. So there we go. So never mind. We then would, I would then have put... 10, oh, no, not 5,000, I wish it was, 10 into my electronics, I would have then put 10 into the kids, and then I'd have put the £8.98 into my savings, so that is what I would have done with the money if I'd had the correct amount, so let's get rid of you, we don't need you anymore, but we do need this, so let me try and Opa, you are. So there we go. Right, so that is my transaction logs, guys. That is all done. And there's all my coinage and my pennies. And I need to move you all. So I can get a nice little video snapshot. So I've got a thumbnail. That's going to look a bit weird with all this cash laying around. But there we go. So there's all of my money. So... Let's try and move you over. So, there we go. And you're not going to stay straight, are you? So, there you go. There is my transaction log. It's tip tracker, sinking funds with you guys. I'm so happy that I'm able to do a tip tracker this month. I can keep saying it and keep saying it, but I'm so happy that I'm able to do it with you guys and get a tip tracker set up with you so thank you so much for watching this video i know it's been a long tangent like normal and i am still learning all of this but thank you so much for watching hello my lovelies i'm so sorry i completely forgot to put a tracker in for my savings of my cash envelope so i'm gonna quickly go over the page so i've saved money from groceries household and the beauty category this current week so i need to put it in here somewhere and i've already tried to put washi down and edit this video but it's literally just the vein of my life and playing me up and it's going to do it again isn't it of course it's going to do it again of course it's me it's the vein of my life so this washi is like driving me absolutely insane today it will just not stay right let's see if i can get a big bit this time right so we need about yeah a bit more there we go let's try and get a decent decent size washi across so then i can cut it i'm sorry if my head's in shot guys but <clears throat> i need to get this done and dusted i'm so sorry that i completely forgot about this but we've remembered like i remembered like two hours later after i took my door my daughter my sister shopping so i had remembered but i just haven't had time to record it i'm literally about to go out and go see my brother um he lives in assisted living so i'm gonna go and see him but i might have my dad to pick me up because we haven't got the car right now my other half and the kids have gone out to see his nan before christmas time so <clears throat> i thought i'd quickly get this bit done for you guys and then i will be able to go out and chill out and get this uploaded while we're in the car journey so right um quickly um this is going to be what one do we use we use a lighter one didn't we so i'm gonna do i'm gonna just tilt this so i can see what i'm doing let's just leave that there that's fine so um we need a washi here and this will look really nice when it's finished i'm going to do a new thumbnail because i haven't got this included so for this one but it's fine it's absolutely fine and obviously you'll see my previous video which will be my tracker for this setup but it will not have this in so i do apologize right so 
very quickly. All of my money is in this little wallet, this little zipper here for my cash envelope. So I'm just gonna have to move this out of the way. Um, and I need to get all of my cash out and tell you how we're gonna do this this week. I think I'll just drop one in time. Yeah, I have, just drop one in there. So uh, my phone has now died because I've been trying to upload videos. So I've been having to use a, my spare phone to like go on Google and all that other stuff and obviously YouTube. So I um, have deaded my phone. I love that word, deaded. So I've killed my phone, so I cannot use my phone to add anything up, so bear with me. So we have 15 there. So we had 17 in total. So 15, 17, and we had 7p from my category four. I'm gonna move all this up so I can start putting stuff down very quickly. So, um, <coughs> oh, out here I'm gonna put the word cash, um, cash savings, or should I put envelope savings? Um, I'm gonna put envelope savings on there very quickly um, in my little um, things, and I will come back to you in a hot second once I've completed it. So my lovelies, I have my envelope savings topping. So, it took me forever, but you'll just see it exists. It took literally a blink of an eye. So, I'm going to have, I'm just gonna put a straight, literally a line all the way across down here. So we have our category. Category. We then have our amount we have saved. And I'm going to put another line. And then I'm going to put running. No, I'm not going to put running total. Um, so category, amount. And the bottom, I'm going to put total. So the total amount I have saved is here. Um, and <laughs> as I go along for the month, I'm going to put here running total. But for the first week, it will be zero because of the fact that I haven't got any money. I am also going to save... It and hopefully by the maybe January, February, I'll have some money for a whole month's worth of cash envelopes so I haven't got to actually take any money out of my bank and I can save all of that money. So it'd be so much better for me. So that's what I'm going to do with this money. <coughs> right, so our categories were we had groceries, this paycheck slash week one then we had household and then we had a beauty category so that is going to be it i'm going to put total here because this is the first week that i'm ever doing this so we're going to put total and then i'm going to put a pound sign so i saved 1707 from my groceries so we then had two pound 50 from my beauty category and i'm hoping i've got all the money here i'm hoping i haven't spent any of it so one two three four four pound 50 60 70 80 and then five so we have five pound here from my household category and i'm really not very good at maths so that one is seven that one is five then we have 17 18 19 20 21 23 24 24 and i'm just going to double check that my lovelies so we definitely have that all sorted. 
so let's double check and this all of this cash will go into one of my little uh, money bags and I will just put that all together and just save it or I will put it in separate money bags and put a little piece of paper inside and tell you um, put the front of it saying what it saved so 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and then that change there so 24.57 so that's correct so i am just gonna move this now because i'm gonna have to get a new picture so bear with me my lovelies bear with me so we need to move you over i think i'm just gonna use my old old picture maybe i might just i'll just leave that there it's fine it's fine we can we can work this out can't we we can do this so so guys that is it that is finally <laughs> my tip tracker slash sinking funds transaction lock and cash envelope savings done and dusted finally so i was gonna quickly put my outro from the end of the last clip onto this but i thought no i will do it again for you guys so thank you so much for watching this video and bearing with me on all of the new things that i'm putting into my cash envelopes and my trackers and all of the above thank you so much for watching and if you're new thank you thank you and if you're not and if you're a constant subscriber thank you for watching this video and i look forward to doing more videos very very soon so my next video is going to be my set up for no i don't think i'm gonna have time because it's tuesday now i'm not gonna have time to do my setup for the current week but i will just get on with my paycheck two with you guys for my next video so my paycheck two is gonna be my next video so if you haven't seen it already please put look look down below i'll probably put it in the description box if i can if i remember i'm terrible at this and everything obviously i'll have here i'll put in the description box if i remember as well so thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my another video next time so love you love you bye